during the latter end of the Shang Dynasty. King Zhou had a romantic obsession with the goddess Nuwa, and no matter how many signs of rejection she sent his way, he would not be dissuaded to woo her. After he desecrated her temple with poetry, she had had enough, and not only wanted to punish the king, but his entire empire for this offense. King Zhou was leading his kingdom into ruin. The sovereign goddess, Nu Wa, wanted to punish the king for his sins and summoned a legion of demon spirits. But only one of them would stand out among the others. My lady's powers are boundless. Long live the heavenly sovereign! A malicious fox spirit stepped forth and laid claim to the emperor's downfall. In exchange for his misfortune, Nuwa would promise immortality to whoever accomplished the task. And with that, the evil spirits fell from heaven and carried out their plan. The fox spirit possessed the body of a young noble maiden named Tsu Daji. Using her beauty, she was able to capture King Zhou's affection and became his concubine. But rather than carry out the sovereign goddess's orders to punish the king, the fox spirit decided to indulge herself with her new status and did nothing but pursue pleasure. King Zhou was infatuated by Daji's beauty and did everything he could to please her. Daji used her charm to sow discord amongst his vassals and loyal retainers. She would slander the king's trusted loyalists and invent new methods of torture for their accused crimes. This was all done for her own entertainment. Your fellow vassals talk of unholy spirits bewitching your majesty. It is obvious that they conspire to destroy you. They must be dealt with at once. We must kill the rumor mongers without mercy, and their heads will be displayed as a symbol. The delicacies at the palace were not enough to satisfy her hunger, so Daji would host banquets and orgies to disguise her true method of feeding on human flesh. Bring 50 eunuchs and 50 maidens. Take their clothing and tie them in pairs. They must get drunk and have fun. And when we tire of watching them, one will be beaten to a pulp and sword. Then a new pair will be made. In the background, the kingdom was falling into disarray due to the king's neglection of his duties. His queen and ministers had tried to reason with him, but he was already under Daji's powerful spell of obedience. She would have all of her objectors maimed and killed, even convincing the king that she was of divine descent and having some of her own demon lackeys to become servants under his nose. King Zhou's tyranny continued until the common people revolted under the leadership of King Wu of Zhou, thus ending the Shang Dynasty and the rise of the Zhou Dynasty. Daji was ultimately blamed for the king's corruption and was executed for her crimes. Or at least, that's what we think happened. Like her historical counterpart, Daji is very giddy and sadistic, finding pleasure in making her enemies suffer. Like King Zhou, Orochi is a man of power she uses to indulge herself. Daji's fighting style is akin to dancing. Lady Daji was known for her enchanting dance and King Zhou would hold banquets to show off his consort's talents. The moves she performs in this combo are part of a Da Wu dance, with a bit of figure skating in some of the attacks. Her weapons are the Levitation Spheres, named after the various stages of the Shang Dynasty's decline. The Marble Chaos, the Globe of Atrophy, the Sphere of Decay, and the Orb of Ruin. In the final hours of the Uprising, 
Dodgy escaped with her sisters, but was captured by an angry Nua and forced to face execution. However, the fox spirit was exercised from her body and was able to escape to other lands where she fell more kingdoms in Eastern Asia the same way she did to the Shang Dynasty, biding her time until she is able to rise once again. The story surrounding Dodgy the Concubine is a byproduct of propaganda used to demonize the king and his company, because it's easier to hate an aristocrat when they are being coerced by a demon witch. In reality, she was just a greedy concubine who used her charms to get what she wanted. 